the next topic we're going to kind of talk about is voicemail distribution lists. And there's two ways to use voicemail distribution lists. The first one is you know, do I need to send an email or a voicemail out to all of my engineering team? Or does Travis want to send a, a voicemail out to the whole company saying, hey, congratulations, we made, you know, Short Tales Contact Center Partner of the Year. We can do that with voicemail distribution lists. And there's two ways to, to accomplish this. Today we're going to be talking about system distributions, which are controlled by the IT staff in Shorebird Director. The second way is in your communicator. Under your voicemail, you can, uh, users can actually create their own personal distribution list to send voicemails out. These ones are usually more you know, departmental that, that the IT team controls. Both of them work the same way. The advantage of using the system distribution list is it gets an extension number assigned to it. So you simply call an extension number, leave a voicemail, and 20, you know, 100 users, whatever you want, all get notification that they have a new voicemail. Usually our first question there is, well, how much storage are you taking up on my server now if I do that? Well, the nice thing about the short system is we only take one voicemail. So we're, we store, let's say, a two or 300K file on the short server. And then in the 100 mailboxes, we actually just put a pointer in each mailbox telling them, hey, do you have a message? When they need to listen to it, grab this one file. So everybody's actually listening to the exact same file. When they listen to it and they delete their message, it just deletes the pointer. When the last pointer in the system gets deleted, at night when the database maintenance occurs, that voicemail gets deleted from the system. So we're only storing one voicemail message, but we're allowing you know hundreds of users access to that one voicemail message. So we're not taking up a bunch of extra storage space on the server. So how do we create one of these? So we log into Shoreware Director. We expand our voicemail option. And you'll see we have the first option, we have a system distribution list. And by default, Shortel actually creates a couple in here. They, I think they call one staff, one managers, one executives. A lot of our customers, we just, you know, you know, we'll, we'll just delete those and, and create custom ones if you want to use some. There's no reason to, to use one of theirs when you can rename it and stuff like that as needed. There will be a, another one in there called Broadcast, and Broadcast is just how the system does its, its system distribution, so you, it won't let you delete the Broadcast one. You just want to create your own by simply clicking the Add New button. If you've already have one in there, you just simply click on the link to one of your system distribution lists, and you can add users, change extensions as needed to that distribution list. So as I hit the Add New button, I'm going to get a nice big screen for you know, editing and, and building a new one. So I went ahead and named mine Engineering Voicemail. And then it wants an extension number, you know, the extension number you'll dial. We've even had some people who, when they pick this extension number, they can call in to an auto attendant after hours for bad weather. And whoever's making that decision simply dials the extension number, and they can send out you know, a voicemail letting everybody know that, you know, Due to bad weather, you know, we're, gonna be, we're not going to be working today. And then they'll send out an email. So that way people get an email and they get a voicemail notification of either close for, you know, close due to bad weather. Or if you're closing down, we had one customer who wanted to use it because they were giving everybody Christmas Eve off. And they wanted just kind of a personalized greeting from the, you know, from the president. So they sent out a voicemail greeting letting everybody know that they were going to have Christmas Eve off as far as along with Christmas uh, Day. Recorded name there, so you, you want to put a recorded name into the greeting, so that way when somebody calls an extension, they know what distribution list they, you know, that they're getting to. If you have a, you can import a greeting, or you can simply, if you pick an extension number, you can hit the record button, and you can have your phone ring, and you can record, you know, engineering distribution list is the, is the name, whatever, something can identify this mailbox when you're leaving a message. So then the next thing we need, to, we need to add some users to the, to the system. So on the left-hand side, you have your whole list. It's going to separate out, you know, the list you can see by, I'm doing it by extension in this. In the drop-down list for sort by, you can pick extension, you can pick first name, you can pick last name. And then you just start putting users into it. You can put 100 users into it. You can put 10. I think I have about 10, in, you know, 10. I just picked 10 of the uh, engineering team And when I was building this one. But once you get everybody added, you simply hit the save button on the top. Once we hit the save button, this distribution list takes a mere seconds to build up. And then it's ready, and you simply dial the extension 1846 in this case and you can leave a voicemail message, and then everybody's light on their phone is going to, once we leave a message, it's going to start blinking, and they're going to see, oh, I missed a call. When they hit their voicemail, they'll be able to see that it's, you know, listen to the message, delete the message as needed, forward it to another employee if they need to. Just like a regular voicemail, you know, there's no, nothing different to the end user than if I just left a voicemail on their extension. 